Hi, my name is Mary Colen and welcome to Yoga for Acute Lower Back Pain. This is more of a therapeutic approach today, so we're going to keep it very gentle and light in our movements and exercises. We're mainly going to stay on our backs and feel free to have some blankets and pillows. Stay warm and comfortable. And let's get started. Let's come down onto our backs into broken bridge. Bring your knees to kiss. Let the pinky side of your feet kiss the edges of your mat. An option to place your hands underneath your lower back. An option to either soften your gaze or close your eyes. Settle in. Let the last movements dissolve. And let this warmth of your hands nourish your lower back. Let's take three conscious inhales and exhales. Take a full breath in, let that breath wander down your spine toward your lower back, your sacrum. Fill up your belly with air. And a slow exhale up your spine, out of your nostrils or mouth releasing any uncomfortable feelings. Again, two more times. Breathe in. Let that inhale become even slower than the one before. Guide that energy down toward your lower back. Give it some love and attention. And as you breathe out, let go and dissolve into this feeling of ease. One last time. Deep inhale, let that become your biggest breath in so far. Guide it all the way down toward your sacrum. And an even slower exhale up your spine, out of your mouth or nostrils. Beautiful. Flutter your eyes open. Bring your hands on top of your belly. Parallel your knees and feet hip width distance apart. We're going to do the pelvic tilt. For that, just take a rich breath into your belly, expand like a balloon. And when you exhale, press your lower back down into your mat and find a light tilt in your pelvis. And let's do this a few more times. Breathe in, expand your belly. Elevate your back away from your mat. Then a slow exhale, press your lower back into your mat. Lightly lift up your pelvis using your pelvic muscles and your lower abdomen. Nice, let's do a few more times. Find your own pace. Maybe you want to close your eyes. Let's do two more rounds. Nice. You may open your eyes if you have closed them. Now bring your right knee in. 
and we're just rotating to one direction to loosen up our pelvis, our hips, and also massaging our lower back. And then three rounds in the other direction. And come to stillness, take a breath in. And when you exit, squeeze your right knee closer to your right armpit. Beautiful. Put it back down and let your knees, as they are, drop over to your left side. Nothing needs to change before. Just let them drop as they go. Option to place your left foot on top of your right knee to deepen the twist. This is entirely up to you what you need here. An option to place your right hand behind your lower back to keep warming up that space. You may close your eyes here just for a moment. Bring awareness into your lower back. Stay for one more inhale. And for one more exhale. Nice. Bring your knees back to center. Parallel your knees and feet hip width distance. We're going to do three active bridges, very light. Nothing crazy. Breathe in, lift up your hip bones. And as you breathe out, lower your hips. Two more times. Breathe in, elevate. Exhale, lower. And one last time. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, lower. Nice. Now bring your left knee in. We're doing the same thing. Rotate toward one direction three times. And the other one. And find stillness again. And take a deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze your left knee, get closer toward your left armpit. Amazing. Drop your left foot down without moving anything. Let your knees drop over to your right side. Option to bring your right foot on top of your left knee to lightly intensify this twist. Option place your left hand underneath your lower back. You may close your eyes here again. Just staying here in this gentle twist. Nourishing your lower back. At any time, you can always guide your breath actively, mindfully toward your lower back. Stay for one more breath in and one more breath out. And guide your knees back to center. Apanasana, squeeze your knees into your chest, hug your legs in. Still stay rooted with your shoulders and the back of your head on your mat. Take a breath in. Access, squeeze your knees a little more closer to your chest. Now you can either roll on to one side and press yourself up or roll yourself forward. If you'd like to, you can use a pillow here underneath your booty. This next little exercise is called leg like, resistance work. And I want you to keep your legs parallel, please. Hip width distance. Bring your hands to the outside of your knees, please. Take a breath in. 
And as you exhale, press your hands into your legs and your legs into your hands. And stay here for four. Press for three. Resist for two. And one. And let's switch. Fist your hands and bring them to the inside of your legs. Breathe in. Exhale, press your hands into your legs and your legs into your hands. Keep resisting for four, three, two, and one. Nice. What it helps with is creating space in our pelvis and lower back. And also it can help with resetting the SI joints. Now let's do this one more time. Why not? Bring your hands to the outside of your legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, resist. Press your hands into your legs and your legs into your hands. Hold for four. Three. Two. And one. Let's switch. Fist your hands. Place them to the inside. Breathe in. Exhale, resist. Press into your legs and your legs into your hands for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Come into tabletop, please. Hands underneath your shoulder joints, your knees underneath your joints. We're just doing three gentle cats and cows. You choose how deep you want to go in your expression. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, roll your shoulders back away from your ears. Open up your collarbones. Exhale, cat, snap your belly in, dome into your spine, tuck your chin in. Let's do this two more times. Breathe in, open your heart. Exhale, curl. One more time, breathe in, open up. And exhale, tuck your chin in. Nice. Now, Bar your hands forward and drop down to your belly. Preparing for cobra pose. Press your feet into the earth. Now you can choose if you want to keep your feet hip width distance or bring them together. A lot of times when we keep them hip hip width distance, though, we create more space in our back. Hug your elbows in. Breathe and lift up for cobra. Ujangas. Now roll your shoulders away, down your back. Keep your legs active, gaze down, extend your neck <laughs> to the extension of your spine. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower. And press yourself up and come into child's pose. Bring your big toes to kiss. And... I recommend being all comfortable here as well, using pillows or blankets. Place one on, on top of your heels, maybe one underneath your head, whatever you need. We're going to stay for a few breaths here. Find some ease, some relief. And come back to your mindful breathing, with your breath, nourish your lower back. Let's take three more breaths here. And 
Nice and slowly crawl yourself back up. And come down again to your back. We're going to do another twist. This time we're using one or two pillows, whatever you need. Maybe you want to use blankets underneath your back. Get comfortable. I'm going to use one pillow for my head. And one goes right in between my legs like this. Scoot your hips over to your right side. Now let your knees drop over to your left. Almost so your right hip is stacking on top of your left. Again, optional bring your right hand behind your lower back. And optional close your eyes here. Just breathe here. Find release on your exhales. Let's take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly guide your knees back to center. And we're just going to do the same thing. Wander your hips over to your left, drape your knees over to your right. Your left hip is almost stacking on top of your right, as much as it feels comfortable. Option, place your left hand behind your lower back. And again, if you'd like to, you can close your eyes and breathe into the sensation. And take one more inhale and one more exhale. Flutter your eyes open, bring your knees back to center. Now you can either stay in broken bridge as we started this class or for legs up the wall. You can bring one pillow right by you or blankets by the wall. One for your head if that feels good. And a little disclaimer, if you're currently suffering from high blood pressure, glaucoma or other physical illness, I recommend you talk to your doctor first before doing this last pose. For this, you get really close. Come onto your side first. Bring your booty closer to the wall and then slowly roll yourself up here. Get comfy. Let the energy flush down your legs toward your lower back, nourish and heal. And I hope you'll feel better soon. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste.